Zach. What's up, man? I'm chilling, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Excited. Funny story, man. I went to the Novo back in November. Hell yeah. I went to see some, another artist I like, and I saw you come out, and I was yeah. like, okay, he, he has energy. You had the crowd turn. <laughs> you were your own thing. Like, I, I, I really enjoyed the performance. I'm not Appreciate gonna lie. It. I didn't go expecting to see you, but after I saw you, I gave you a couple streams after that. Oh, like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate, yeah. That. I, I, I appreciate the fractions of, of a penny that you, you came to get yeah, from listen, that interaction we had. Listen, if I could, if I could just, if I could do anything that, that, that helps, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, I'm here. You, you performed um, Shut the Fuck Up Talking to Me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Your debut album, mm -hmm. the title track was probably my favorite up there when you oh, performed definitely. it. I definitely was like, this beat's crazy. I had to go home and, you know, look that one up. Oh, yeah. So what was that reaction like to you dropping your first album? And like, how was that feeling, you dropping that? It was cool, man. I, I'm just kind of like a, a guy who likes to be in the house and be creative, whether it's visual art or TV or film or acting or music. And that was just kind of like my offering mm -hmm. in that realm. And uh, people appreciated it fans liked it and that was honestly like more than I expected yeah. from it to be to be quite honest with you so uh, I viewed it as kind of just like putting out like a mixtape or, or just anything and just being like here and people were like yeah and I was like oh You're like whoa I didn't whoa, think I didn't, I didn't think you were needed this, this bad yeah, yeah like yeah, I was yeah, just trying yeah. to throw something out there exactly and I, I kind of like to anything I put out kind of like have intent with it and yeah. not just kind of do anything to just be doing it so right. I wanted to like make funny stuff around it promotionally and make it feel like it was a a party. And do you have any plans to make any more music? You know this era, man. It's like, all right, what's next? Like that was hard, but what's next? You know what I'm saying? So like I, what's on the on the docket music wise for you? I, I I try not to answer that question just because of what you said that like this era is so like the, the consumption is so rapid. It's microwave. It's so microwave. It's air fryer, actually, now. It's, it's it definitely air fryer. It's, it's air two fryer. air fryers back to back, <laughs> yeah. like two tandem air fryers, and you're just taking <laughs> shit from one air fryer and putting it in this one and then right. serving it. So it's like, I don't know what the next like offering will be, the next like pop out, mm -hmm. but I hope that people know like everything I do, I'm gonna try to do it to that degree or higher. So that kind I did with the album, and I'm not even like Mr. Rap. I'm just yeah. like, hey, here's how I do that thing. And uh, when I do a TV show, I would like to do it like that. And if I do an art show, I'd like to do it like that. So I look at you as like a modern day Renaissance man. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how you like that title, but that's come. That's what the first thing I thought of when I was like, okay, Zach Fox, modern day Renaissance man. <laughs> You're an actor, you're a writer, you're a comedian. Mm -hmm. You're just said, you like rapping, so that makes you a rapper now. You're a social media provocateur. You're a, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you do the voice actor. You right. do all these different, uh, bourbon Al alcoholic. connoisseur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see? No, I cleaned it up for you. You tried to say you alcoholic, up, I said bourbon you connoisseur. Thank you. I got yeah, you, bro. I appreciate it. So you do all these different things. We like to call that grinding, right? You know what I'm saying? In the, in the hip hop community and in the gaming community. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're playing an RPG, you're grinding, you're grinding. Right. So like you've been heavy on the grind, man. Like you just live in the moment to do it or is it like a conscious thing you're doing? Honestly, I don't ever like really view anything as a grind because I'm such a immature soul that all of it kind of feels like like a sandbox and you kind of like you go over here and you build something over there and you know maybe that gets knocked over and you go over here and you play on the jungle gym for a while and then you go back to building something the the grind to me is just like having fun right which sounds so silly and like <laughs> uh hyper optimistic but yeah. like i think if i'm i think if i'm sitting there and i'm like this isn't making me like laugh or making me like feel you joy yeah making me feel joy which like everything shouldn't you have to do paperwork sometimes but for the most part shit should be like making stuff with your friends and right having fun one of the um toys in your sandbox in, of the world of zach fox is abbott elementary yeah it's a lot of you know black actors, black people involvement in the show. Mm -hmm. um, it's a moment that has a chance to be such an even bigger moment going forward, renewed for a second season. Congrats yeah. on that. Yeah, thank so, you. So like, just speak to us about being on that show. That was another one of those moments. I'm, I'm like thinking more towards like, what are my friends on mm -hmm. than what is the industry on? Yeah, Quinta, you know, reached out and kind of like gave me a shot and was like, I don't even know if you want to be on network because <laughs> she knows like I'm yeah. wild but I was like man for you like 
anything, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, she knows like one of my biggest goals is just like be able to be an actor and like be silly and, and write television. So to be able to do it in a way where it was so familiar mm -hmm. to my fans and uh, familiar to my voice as it is, but still a character right. was um, a really dope opportunity. It really like, I think it's like a cool way to, to step into that world. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm here. You know? That's something I feel like I've noticed, like just talking to you briefly now and just noticing your work and how you execute it. It's like, you do it your way. You do it as a representative of you mm -hmm. at all times. You know what I'm saying? That's very admirable. That's- Oh yeah. That's yeah. very- that's... And that's not to say, like I, like, I think acting is about characters. Right. You know? And if somebody was like, we want you to come play a, uh, a dominatrix in the 1850s <laughs> in France. I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll do it to the best of my capabilities. <laughs> if they want me to play whatever, a fucking gay wizard in the 14th century, I will do it to You're the best. You're gonna kill that, yeah. I'm gonna, I would honestly- You're gonna attack it head on. I would destroy a, a role like that. Yeah, that's dope, that's dope. So this is Gaming While Black, right? You know yeah. Saying? We're in this, you know, beautiful. Arcade, you've been here. Beautiful arcade. Yeah. yeah, you said you've been here before. I've been smacked in here. <laughs> yeah, I've been like Bobby Brown, like sweaty with the white. Yeah, stuff with the, the white on the side, of the looking like you got rabies yes. on the side of your mouth. Yes, I've been, been on that type of time. Here. Yeah, uh huh. What's your gaming background like? Mine was very, uh, which probably explains a lot. My gaming background was so silly. Like I started with a Sega Genesis, mm. and my mom was very like conscious of what. I would be taking in, but also not at the same time. Like she, she was like, she'll watch enough out the corner of her eye, then it wasn't nothing crazy. You if it she'll was, walk, yeah. she'll, let, she'll let you be. Exactly. So yeah. like, I would be in there playing like Streets of Rage, mm. uh, Dinosaurs for Hire, which is a slept on one uh, based off a comic, and uh, I would play the Animaniacs. Animaniacs? That a game? Uh, it was an Animaniacs, and, it, and there was a Tiny Toon Adventures game on. I think I remember Genesis. that one. And I used to play those like religiously. Yeah. I was obsessed with cartoon games. And uh, from like Sega Genesis, I think right into Nintendo 64 and like playing GoldenEye and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, classic. And I don't know. I think Kingdom Hearts was like a moment that kind of changed a lot for me because it made me obsessed with really good video games. That was like a cross, that was like the fork in the road. Yes. Like, am I gonna be a gamer or a gamer gamer? Yeah. It was yeah. like, what am I gonna do here? Like, And I think more than anything, it just made me, even though the Kingdom Hearts story at large is ass and terribly convoluted, that first installment video game made me like obsessed with storytelling. Yes. And like, it's so nostalgic for me. So like, that was like a moment where I was like, okay, games are it. Yeah, it's like, not just like it's, it's, it's not just some silly thing. Like, yeah, it's, it's bigger than life. That was for the sure. Moment, yeah. So speaking of a game that's been around forever, I feel like this game has been out for ten years. GTA Five. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like twenty years. It's like, literally been out since yeah. uh, the Bush administration. I feel like no, GTA literally, 5. I think I've like been in like four relationships since GTA Five. Facts. I've moved out. cross coast, back and forth. Like yeah, yeah, literally, like a whole <laughs> sisterhood of the traveling pants saga. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, so much has happened. You're actually in GTA 5, fly low, FM. Yeah, that's like, when I was like, all right, cool, I did it. That's like right up there with making a shoot, right? Like being in a game? Yeah. Like, that's like probably like right up there with that. For sure, for sure. Like I, I'm so obsessed with GTA and to like be blessed by fly low in that situation, I was like, I want, this is all I wanted. Nobody can tell you shit. I wanted someone to be like, yo, I was just driving around on the sidewalk in GTA 5 and your song came on and I'm like <laughs> I was just running over a just couple running, prostitutes just running over everybody yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> talking about that relationship between like music and gaming you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm just used to like having those notorious Smash Brothers battles back you know what I'm saying like 06 and playing like something in the background playing like some J back in New York or playing oh, something man. It, it's so tied together me and the homies used to like when we were like at our brokest sit and play like Tekken 5 mm -hmm but like turn it all the way down and like blast mm. Mary J. Blige <laughs> and just give out like sensual ass whoopings to each other. And like, I think like game soundtracks and gaming and like listening to music and GTA radio stations. And I mean, you even see like with COD now, like kids are like, yeah, NBA young boy, Nardo Wick and first oh, yeah, no. shooters are like, that's the bundle. Another thing we love talking about here at uh, GWB, anime any anime that was part of like your 
Oh yeah, nah. I love I love when they had the tats to yeah. to show the proof. You know what I'm saying? I put this on my body. That's oh, how real okay. it is. That's that's Devil Man right there. My big like intro to that shit was like OVAs on VHS that a homie of mine would get when I was like a little kid. Yeah. So that era has like a big stamp in my brain and devil man like definitely stood out like the the late 80s early 90s stuff that they were doing you know there's some newer stuff that you know i get into and you know from like the 2000s like girl and lagan and one piece and you know Inu you could do one piece i could do one piece i feel like you know when you don't want to watch bit. a series because it's already on season seven one piece is like twelve thousand episodes like that and naruto i'm just like dude this is abuse at a Bro, almost point. i just almost fell to my knees like little dirk in the video like <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, you don't fuck with Naruto? No, I love Naruto. I love everything about it, but the amount of time and commitment to watching or like committing to that manga, like, yeah, bro, yeah. you keep adding characters. <laughs> I'm gonna catch up with you when you're done. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm black and I have like blood pressure problems. Yeah. I got like 60 years on this earth, <laughs> like yeah. max. I'm not watching all of Naruto. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right, I'll accept that, I'll accept that. I don't like slander of my favorite anime on GWB. The viewers know that already, but I'll accept I'm that. I'm black one. and I eat red meat. I'm not gonna be here long enough <laughs> to go vegan yet. Yeah. One Piece. No, Got you. fuck out of here. So listen, man, listen, man. As you can see above this illustrious bar that you were eyeing earlier, we yeah. got Street Fighter. Okay. We actually gonna get it popping if you want to catch some hands. I'm, I'm so with it, yeah. All right, so let's do it. I love fighting. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it.